So in this question, we're given quite a lot of information. So let's just take a minute to work through the information we're given, and then we'll look at the question and see what we need to do. So we're told that a company plans to extract oil from an oil field. We're told that the daily volume of oil, which is denoted by V, is measured in barrels. And the amount of oil that is extracted from the oil field depends upon the time, which is denoted by T, and it's measured in years. And it will be measured from after the start of the drilling. The company decides to use a model to estimate the daily volume of oil that will be extracted from the oil field. And there are a few bullet points here with assumptions that the model accounts for. So we're told that the initial daily volume of oil extracted from the oil field will be 16,000 barrels. So this means that when T is equal to zero, there will be 16,000 barrels of oil being, being extracted. The daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly four years after the start of the drilling will be 9,000 barrels. And we're told that the daily volume, volume of oil extracted over time will decrease. And this makes sense because we know that oil is a finite source which will eventually run out. So we're now shown two models, model A and model B. And these are both two possible ways of uh, modelling the situation. So we can see, uh, having a quick look at model A, we can see that it is a straight line. So then looking at model B here, we can see there is a, a curved fitted line there. So now we're gonna take a look at what the question is asking us to do. So question A part one, use model A to estimate the daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly three years after the start of the drilling. So now taking a look back at our graph, we can see that at this point here, t is equal to four. So we know that t equal to three will be roughly around here, around this point here. So I think the best way to work this out will be to calculate the gradient. So we know that we can work out the gradient as follows. So the gradient is gonna be equal to the change in y coordinates divided by the change in x coordinates. So we can work this out by doing 9,000 minus 16,000, and we divide this by the change in x coordinates, which is gonna be four minus zero, which is four. So overall, put this into a calculator, it comes out the gradient is negative 1,750. And then we already know that, um, looking back at the question, that 16,000 is the y-intercept. So we can actually just write the equation of the line out. So we have that y is equal to 16,000 minus 750x. Then we must remember that we're not dealing with x's and y's, we're dealing with v's and t's. So really our equation should be v is equal to 16,000 minus 1,750 t. So then recalling our question, we're asked to uh, use model A to estimate the daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly after three years. So this means that we can plug uh, three into our equation with t, and then we will have that the volume is equal to 16,000 minus 7,050 multiplied by three, which is equal to 10,750 barrels. Now for question A part two, we're asked to write down a limitation of using model A. So one thing that you may notice, we have our equation, V is equal to 16,000 minus 1,750 t. So we're gonna have a look what happens when what happens when t is equal to 10. So we can find this out by substituting t equals 10 into our equation. So we have 16,000 minus 1,750 times by 10 
but we see that this is equal to negative 1,500. But this isn't possible because we can't have negative amounts of, of oil. Uh, so this is impossible. So therefore we conclude that uh, a limitation of the model is that it doesn't actually work and it gives us a, an unrealistic value for, um, for the oil extracted after 10 years. So now we'll take a look at question B, part one. So we're asked, using an exponential model and the information given in the question, find a possible equation for model B. So when we see exponential model, the first thing we must think of uh, is kind of our standard equation. And it's always going to be y is equal to a e k to the power of t, where a and k are both constants. So we need to convert this into something that looks more like the notation we've been using throughout our question, where y is equal to v and t is, it remains as t. So we therefore have this v is going to be equal to a e k to the power of t and what we now need to do is we need to work out the constants a and k and then this will give us the uh, equation for model b so using the information we were given in the question we know that when t equals zero v is going to be equal to sixteen thousand so then we can substitute these values into our equation here and we'll have that 16,000 is equal to AE to the power of K times 0. And we know that E to the power of 0 is going to equal 1. So that means we have that 16,000 is going to be equal to A. So then we can use the next data point we know, which is when t is equal to 4, v is going to be equal to 9,000. And this means that we can then do the same again by substituting our values in, and this time also use our newfound a is equal to 16,000. So we have that 9,000 is equal to 16,000 multiplied by e to the power of 4k. So the next thing we need to do is we have kind of we have all we need in this equation here and we just need to rearrange to solve for k. So we can initially divide both sides by 16,000 and we then have that 9,000 divided by 16,000 is going to simplify down to 9 over 16. So this means we then have, just swapping the side to make things look a bit nicer, E4K is going to be equal to 9 over 16. So we can, the next step is to get rid of the exponential here and to get, you know, isolate K on its own. And we can do this by taking lin of both sides. So this is going to equal... So remember, lin of an exponential is going to equal the power of the exponential. So we have that 4k is equal to lin 9 over 16. And then now we can simply isolate k on its own by dividing both sides by 4. So k is going to be equal to 1 over 4 lin 9 over 16. So we now look back at the question, what were we being asked to do? So we were asked to find an equation for model B. So we've now worked out what K is, and we've worked out what A is, and we know what our equation is, so we can simply write out our equation. So V is going to be equal to 16,000, then E to the power of K, which is going to be 1 over 4, lin 9 over 16, then we're going to multiply that by T. And there we have the equation of model B. V is equal to 16,000 E to the power of 1 over 4 lin 9 over 16 multiplied by T. 
Now taking a look at question B part 2. We are asked to use our answer from B part 1. So this equation here. To estimate the daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly 3 years after the start of the drilling. So how will we do this? We will simply take our equation here and substitute in with T being equal to 3 and that will give us our value. So the volume of oil is going to be 16,000 multiplied by E to the power of 1 over 4 when 9 over 16 multiplied by 3 and putting that into our calculators we get that the volume of oil is going to be equal to 10,392 point blah 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 and then we'll round to uh, three significant figures so that's why we don't need to know what's after the decimal point and this this comes out as 10,400 barrels so this means that after after three years they will have extracted 10,400 barrels of oil now that we've completed the question, we're going to take a look back and see where we picked up our marks. So question A part 1 and A part 2, this combined was worth 2 marks. So in question A part 1, we receive our mark for concluding with the correct answer, which was 10,750 barrels of oil. Then again, for question A part 2, we receive one correct answer for uh, writing down one limitation of the model. So, now we'll take a look at where the marks were on offer for part B. So there's five marks on offer in total. So taking a look at part one of the question, we received our first mark for suggesting a suitable exponential model. So this is where we wrote that V was equal to AEK to the power of T. We then received our second mark for knowing to use the values we were given in the question to work out what A and K were. And then the next mark was for successfully working out the value of k. And then the final fourth mark was for concluding with the correct answer. Then there was one mark on offer for question B part 2, which was for uh, knowing to substitute 3 in and concluding with our correct answer.